Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is now time to set up the Tom Imperial Star 5-piece kit. Reference this video right here for the assembly of that, of that kit or this one if you want to see the unboxing. But you've probably already seen that based on how many of you have watched it. So hey, let's set this thing up and get on with it, shall we? I'm going to shut up now. Alright, in your kit's going to come one or two of these. These are drum tuning keys. These are used for more than just tuning drums. As you can see here, take your drum tuning key and twist this open. And what do you know? This thing moves around. All it is, basically, it just tightens up on the shaft, ladies, and holds the tom rack at a certain position above the kick drum. And you'll notice there's a built-in key on this one. That way it only goes in one way. And you'll fiddle around with that once you get it on your drum to set how high off the, the kick you want the toms. The actual tom mounts are these bad boys. They're called a ball and shaft. Get your mind out of the gutter. This is another key break. It holds the tom whatever position you want it to be on on this shaft. And kind of goes into the drum with these facing that way. Boobies. Mm -hmm. Did we really need that joke? Why yes, of course we did. Now in this Imperial Star Kit there are six flavors of key brakes, three alone on the pedal. You have this one, connects the spring to set the spring tension. You have this one that holds the beater in place. You have this one that controls where the chain is. You have this one that controls where the tom is on the shaft here. And then you have this type where it controls how tall this is off the kick drum. But there's one more. And finally, you have this one, which is basically a lock for the throne here. So I want to talk about the throne. Something most people don't. When you set this thing down, you're going to be sitting in it, moving around, bouncing around. Normally, you're going to be pushing backwards, which means you're going to want one of these directly behind you. That way, when you go like this, it doesn't go, wee, and you find out what busting your head on the back of the stage feels like. Trust me, it ain't fun. You have to start with the kick, because everything attaches to it. Okay, from this point forward, it's going to be a bit awkward for me to come down like this to the level of the camera so you can actually see what's going on on the floor. So I'm just going to keep it on the floor. Because I have no friends. So I can't have a cameraman. Hmm. So let's get the uh, kick drum in place. Boom! Watching out for the pooch. Who you might see running around a little bit of this. Okay, now we have the kick drum in place, but we're needing to do something with the kick drum. Here on the kick drum. <laughs> this is the AccuTune hoop. That's what Tama calls it. It's just a hoop. This one happens to be made out of high strength plastic polycarbonate. This is an inset where the kick pedal goes. You hold that off. And you insert it there and tighten her down until she knocks the camera over. And then take this bad boy, set it up here. Now we've got the kick drum, on, kick, drum kick pedal on, and here we go. Now we have the kick pedal on, the spurs are down, and this bad boy ain't going anywhere. Now we put on the tom rack, and this is where this key comes into play. Inset on the tom mount here, right forward of the wing nut, that that piece keys into. And it keeps it from turning. At this point, we're just going to tighten her down. 
that may need to be changed. And we'll twist that so that it's straight. Set our time shafts in basically neutral positions. Get the brakes, the key locks, key brakes, whichever you want to call, into a position that we can easily access them. And get the toms. It goes on, finds its seating. Maybe some clicking and banging. Toms. You got to set them in position, but we're going to throw the other stuff in in before that. Okay, let's get the snare and set it into. Eh, I guess an initial position. See how bad the uh, sympathetic vibration is. <laughs> eh, not too bad. And all this is being set into initial positioning, and in no way is this final, obviously. I'm just going to sit it right about there. Throw my other symbol here over the 10. Oh, throw on our hi-hat. Grab our throne. Make sure that one of the uh, arms is to the rear. Oh. Oh yeah, now we do some final positioning here. Find out where our feet like to be. Okay. Let's get these bad boys in a position. Now try not to get too extreme with these toms. You don't want them like directly at you. You want them at an angle so you can put some power into them. Unless of course you're playing very very gently and softly then an increased angle might actually be helpful. However if you're playing rock, hard rock, metal, you're kind of going to want them in a position that they are towards you enough to make good contact and not hit the rims, but not so angled so you can't pop some power into them. Let's do a little quick, uh, simple. Okay, so. basically it. That's how you do a basic setup of your drums. You're going to be tweaking these forever. Just be ready for that. Because you're like, I don't like that, or I don't like that, or I need to move this here, and that, that, that. Or when you're going to be playing and putting some power into it, and whack a rim and go, oh, oh, so I need to move this around and move that around. And there you go. You might find yourself reaching too far for your cymbal. You might have to get another one of these boom arms, bring your cymbals in. It's up to you. You're in control of this eh, little science project, shall we call it, because that's exactly what this is. I hope it's been informative, and I'm glad you hung around so I could get this done. And let's just forget all about 2020, shall we? There's, there's a lot there. Probably never forget it. But hey, let's have fun in 2021. See you next time when we mic these bad boys. Mahalo, y'all.